Hi, it's Jessica Sporn here. I am excited to announce the release of three new stencils for Stencil Girl products. They are Hindu deities, Krishna, Shiva, and Ganesha. And I want to show you how to get a very painterly look using these stencils. So here's the Krishna stencil. And what I did was I started in my art journal. I had um, pages that I had just brayered off paint when I was using my jelly plate. So I'm using a cosmetic sponge and some black fluid acrylic paint, but you could use any black paint that you want. And, I basically and I'm pouncing up and down, um, being careful to exclude the flowers that are around the Lord Krishna figure. Um, so just because a designer has designed a stencil a certain way, in this case me, I designed this stencil with flower motifs going around Krishna, doesn't mean you have to use the whole stencil. Um, you can use parts of it. Uh, you can make it your own. You could use the flowers without the figure inside. So here I have Krishna and I'm taking some blue paint because traditionally his face is blue and you can read all about the uh, mythology behind Lord Krishna on my blog um, or Google him. So I'm not gonna go into that here, but I'm just painting his face blue and you can see I actually stenciled off just the face um, to the left of him because I had black paint to use up and I'll show you what happened to that page in another video. Um, so I'm just basically going over a lot of the areas of black that I stenciled, leaving a little black on the outline, um, but I'm using it almost um, to trace it, but painting within it rather than stenciling with different colors in different spots and trying to make my cosmetic sponge really tiny. I'm just using paint to go over the black and only leaving black where I would like there to be an outline. Here I'm using some white paint as a halo, um, and I've got some metallic paint going on there. You'll see I change the circle that he's standing on several times. Uh, I give him different color toenails a couple of different times, um, but I'm just making it my own so that in the end, I hope it does not look like it was created by a stencil. As you can see, I'm painting in some of the open areas that were not stenciled with purple paint to uh, add a little more dimension and fullness to his outfit and his shawl. I'm mostly using fluid acrylic paints, but where I'm going over the black, sometimes I'm using matte acrylic paints because they're less uh, translucent and they cover the black a little bit better. At some point I decided that I wanted to adjust the color of the background and um, this is what I love about the golden fluid acrylic paints is that they are so sheer. This is a sheer yellow, uh, quinacridone yellow I believe, and um, I mixed it with some glazing medium and it just pulls the whole background together. Another important thing is the quality of your brushes so this is a night that brush I was using was a good quality angled brush and allowed me to uh, fill in the background. So then I've got my little skinny brush and I'm just going back over the black outlines. Um, in some places I painted over them with the matte paint and I'm just accentuating them again and giving it a little bit of a looser flow. Again wanting to end up looking like this is very hand painted and not the result of a stencil. So here I'm adding some red inside of the robe and again this is me making it my own so that was not part of the stencil design but I've just chosen to add to it anyway. Um, now I'm looking at it and thinking do I want to add in any of these flowers? And the answer is yes, but I don't necessarily want to put them where I placed them when I designed 
the stencil. So you can see I'm not lining the stencil up with Lord Krishna, I'm just placing the flowers where I want them to go. And then I'm going to embellish them a little bit with some white just to give them a little more looseness and let them pop out a little bit more. Adding accents of white and black are always great ways to make your design pop out. So you can see I'm adding some white dots here and there, some black dots here and there. And then these flowers that go around his headdress, I decide I don't want them around his headdress. I want to place them at the top of the page as a uh, sort of a border or a frame on the top. And I think I would have probably done that on the bottom too, but I didn't really have very much room left. And then I'm taking my white and just going over it very loosely, not caring about whether I'm in the lines or outside of the lines. Um, just adding this pretty border, almost looks like a curtain balance on the top. I added some words, find your bliss, because um, I made this page while we were staging our house to move and uh, I had to move my studio to show the house and was finally getting to some painting time, which is my bliss. That's when I feel most myself and sort of one with everything when I can just immerse myself in art and that's what this page memorializes. So here is Lord Krishna and I hope this gives you ideas of how to make a stencil your own. Visit me at jessicasporn.blogspot.com for more ideas and thanks for watching.